Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if you want to, if you want us to react to something, drop a link in the comment section below and, and we'll do it for you. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny NJC 2.0. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We plan on posting um, in December for Vlogmas. So I think it's something that you guys should look forward to. Otherwise, we also have a Patreon and a podcast. You can find the links in the description box. And just feel free to click them and enjoy the other stuff that we're putting out there. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. So today I'm going to be reacting to Kanye hologram of Kim, Kim Kardashian's dead father. Dajawa Tech. So without wasting time, this guy has some very very good videos. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. For Kim Kardashian's birthday, her husband Kanye West created a hologram of a dead father. He was made to say some comforting things. I watch over you and your sisters and brother and the kids every day. And some things that Kanye wanted to say. You married the most, 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 most genius man in the whole world, Kanye West. On the other hand, GPT-3, an artificial intelligence program or software has been hitting the headlines. Why? Because of its ability to create articles from scratch. Here is one that it had done for The Guardian. Summarizing research in a understandable, logical and cogent fashion and giving answers much better than these Ceres and Cortanas and Alexas. So because we live in a godless capitalistic society, then these very people who have forsaken God have to pin their purpose on other things. Yeah, that's why you see such a cult like following for football teams, for celebrities and nationalism. Yeah, and that's why you also see suicide being the option when couples break up because so much has been invested in that other individual. Yeah, your entire happiness. But even so, we find it very difficult to move on when somebody that's close to us passes away. Yeah, now sadness on one side, but not being able to move on, I think is exacerbated by the presence of photographs. Yeah, as we know, tangible photographs are not permissible within Islam. And one of the benefits that can be seen is it helps people move on. Having photographs there makes a person regress yeah, into their past, whilst not having photographs helps a person move on. Because here's where psychology kicks in, because you have something called the fading effect bias, which is as time progresses, we tend to remember the positive things from our experiences. For example, if you've had a kid, yeah, you're going to remember the kids uh, trophies and uh, all the positive things rather than the cleaning of diapers and the sleepless nights. That's why people have multiple kids. And you have something called PTG, yeah? post traumatic growth. This is the opposite of the famous PTSD. So PTG is as time progresses, you grow from the traumatic experiences. As believers, obviously we know that death is an integral step for us to make it to the hereafter yeah, and paradise and so on. And the temporary nature of life actually motivates us to make the most of our life. But the more godless we become, the more attached and clingy we become to things like human beings. And that's why a scholar quite aptly said that we dislike death because we have built this world and we have destroyed the hereafter. Therefore, we dislike going from somewhere that we have established to somewhere that we have neglected. And this particular attachment is exactly what Dajjal will exploit. He will raise a version of your parents as propaganda for his deity. Now here Kanye West showed us the hologram at its early stage. Yeah, it's got AI and 5G or whatnot. And yeah, it looks, you know, fairly all right, you know. But think about it. The more quantum computers start developing, the more nanotechnologies, 5G turns to 6G, AI is going to be more convincing. 
and people are already through the Neuralink they're talking about downloading of thoughts yeah so imagine if the mind starts getting mapped you're pretty much going to have a fairly similar version of your parents so at that time are you going to be somebody that clings on to the past and because of that spoils your Iman or are you going to be somebody that understands the transient nature of this world and doesn't need these sorts of things and understands that it's the hereafter that we are going to. So I guess the solutions are somewhat obvious. We need to become more God conscious yeah because the more God conscious you become the more detached you become from the very things that people are using to manipulate you. And number two the aim is to become self-employed and you know have your businesses online as well because of these lockdowns and all of these things you don't want to rely on the government handing out these care packages because you know with these care packages if you refuse to take certain things that they want to give you they're gonna start taking them away yeah we're already seeing with certain things and of course there's a lot of discussion on AI taking jobs anyway. Another thing I guess I would say is invest more in your education so you have more options so if one option goes belly up then you have other options as well. And lastly aim to make the most of your loved ones and parents whilst they are alive because sometimes when they pass away then we feel the need to cling on to things because we're filled with guilt. Alright guys let's leave it there until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Very interesting video. I agree with what he was saying about this attachment. These days we've made life about the other person that we're with, our sisters, brothers, boyfriends, husband, wives, whatever the case is. We're so attached to these people that we feel like when we lose them, it's like we can't even move forward. Some people even go into depression. Some people even harm themselves because someone has um, left their life. Which it shouldn't be like that because if you God should be the center of everything. First put God because even if you lose someone, God will forever be there to comfort you. It's all about we humans like being comforted. Even if you don't agree, we really do like being uh, comforted, be it by our friends, our parents. It doesn't matter what always being um, comforted. Another thing of this, um, this technology thing going on, um, we should leave the dead to rest in peace. If someone is dead, then let it be. Just like that stop stop this hologram thing that's why people these days people will see something in the sky and they're like oh my goodness I saw an angel what if it's someone just projecting that so that you can think that maybe Jesus is coming you can think that it's the end of the world all these things it's programming they're just they're programming us right now to prepare for what's to come for the um, in the future the hologram things is just part of it, but they're doing things way be beyond the holograms that we're here to find out. And we should be careful. Is this what you want for yourselves? Is this, is this how we want our future? And another thing was, um, let's tell our loved ones, let's spend as much as, let's spend time with our loved ones. Let's not only remember them when they are no longer on earth. Let's tell them we love them. Let's just enjoy each other's company and life moves on otherwise let me know what you guys think if there's something that you want to talk about concerning the job the, te uh, the technology holograms or you want to talk about what kanye did feel free to comment in the comment section below your um comments are always welcome make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video